Hey folks, this is Saiyan Chan. In today's episode, I'm going to address a concern that I had with one of my coaching clients and a concern which is probably on the minds of many men who have never traveled internationally or to the country of Colombia and who until recently may not have ever considered uh, moving and leaving the United States of America, including to possibly form a family and for better dating opportunities. So the client in question said, asked me, say enchant, is this like naive or fantastical uh, moving to Colombia, finding a wife? Because he found it a bit incredulous and a difficult to believe that a man that was in his 60s could still build a decent life, including having the dating opportunities with the type of women that he was interested in. Uh, women that were significantly older, uh, significantly younger than him, that were also in great shape. So I made this spreadsheet, and uh, using it, I I will show you guys w- what I do for some of my clients and helping them evaluate them as unique individuals where they are in life and tailor this information to them and to explain how they might fit into the country of Colombia, right? As you guys know, this is a thinking and analysis channel. It's not general manosphere advice. Oh, you know, just uh, get to the gym, get some nice clothes, uh, make more money. Yes, while that's generally applicable, the the higher level of uh, thinking and analysis enables me to tailor it to you guys, right? So let's go through this exercise. On the left-hand side of the spreadsheet, the left column, I put a variety of characteristics which would apply to any man in the modern dating marketplace, okay? And on the top, I have listed uh, three types of men, the average Colombian man, uh, Saiyan Chan, and also the client, uh, USA man number one who happened to be 60 years old. And I gave them scores uh, weighted approximately to their importance in the dating marketplace, right? Not not scientific, but good enough to uh, at least have an exercise or and to start giving you guys a framework of how you may want to evaluate yourselves um, to, to, to see what kind of results you may be able to get. All right. So let's get started with one category. Uh, zero being neutral, one and up being good, anything positive is good, and anything negative is bad and works against you. So the average American man, a uh, Colombian man, is five foot six. So that's a zero. That's completely neutral. That's the country's standard. Saiyan Jan also happens to be five foot six. So that puts me as a zero. This USA man is extremely tall. Very tall, over six feet tall. And because of that, I gave him a 1.5 rating here because not only is he above average uh, in in the dating marketplace where height is is important, um, I gave him a 1.5. You really can't get any taller, all right? (laughs) Um, Earnings, the average Colombian man is a zero. He earns the average for his country. Both Saiyan Chan and USA man number one greatly exceed the earnings of the average Colombian man. And as a result, we both have 1.5 in those categories. Okay. Social skills. The average Colombian man has great social skills from just dealing with people, dealing with families and um, having a socially warmer climate. So he's at a one. Saiyan Chan is also at a one because uh, while not natively Colombian, he has always been in tune with the Hispanic Latino American culture from from birth when he grew up in the Lower East Side, dealing with Puerto Ricans, being a salsa dancer, bachata dancer. All that is very good. So he's at a one. The USA man uh, is at a 0.5. While he has above average uh, bravery and puts himself out there and is willing to talk to people, try new things, etc. By his own admission, he's been shut in for a while and those skills are not as good as they could be. So while he's not like at a zero, um, his, his social skills could use some improvement. 0.5. Spanish ability. The average Colombian man is at a one. That's the default normal. Native Spanish speaking ability. Saiyan Chan is at a 0.5. And while it's nowhere near native yet, 
it's also significantly above the gringo average, which may be either at zero or 0.25 if they've taken some lessons. Okay, so I'm at a 0.5 by now. And the USA man who's just starting to learn Spanish, he's at a zero. Okay, no Spanish ability whatsoever. Um, cultural connection. The Colombian man is, is fully integrated with the Colombian culture, can, can share culturally relevant jokes, talk about pop culture, politics, etc. So uh, he has a one there. Saiyan Chan is at a 0.75 after having, after having spent enormous amount of time in that country and, and dedicating time and effort to learning about it. He's just a little bit under the Colombian man and has also uh, other international perspectives so he can share. So he's just underneath it, right, to be conservative, 0.75. USA man uh, is just starting to travel to Colombia, just starting to, to, to learn about it, just starting to take dancing, just starting to take Spanish courses. So cultural connection is, is at a zero, okay? Exoticness. Colombian man has a zero. He's not exotic at all, okay? That's the average. Saiyan Chan is at a one. You can't get more exotic than being an Asian and an Asian American at that um, in, in Colombia. The, uh, the, the Asians just don't show up, okay? Aver USA man number one, his exoticness is 0 0.5. While gringos, uh, uh, Caucasians have been traveling to Colombia for a while now, they're no longer that exotic. It, it, enough time has elapsed uh, since they first started travel so that it's now um, relatively commonplace in the major cities, okay? Reputation for the Colombian man is a minus one. They have poor reputations for being very macho, treating their women poorly, cheating. It ain't a good look. Uh, Saiyan Chan is at a zero because no Asian men show up. We have no reputation whatsoever. They don't even know what to do with us, okay? So that's at a zero. Um, I'm not benefiting uh, from, a, uh, from a positive perceived reputation, nor am I being hurt from it. They have no sense of what uh, the Asians are like. Uh, reputation for the USA man is a one. The, rep, the, the women generally think and believe and have other friends and, and family members who do have experience with uh, Western men, you know, men from the USA, where the men are nice and kind and are generous and, and treat the women um, great and really like them. So uh, one for reputation. Age, the Colombian man, it, call him uh, a guy in his 20s or early 30s. He's at the ideal um, age for most younger women that are really desirable. Okay. The, the, um, the highest age gap that uh, all women, <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the age gap, the lowest age gap, which women will tolerate in Colombia is 10 years. So he, he's within that age range. And that gives him a, a leg up over a guy like me who is now close to 40. And if I wanted to date women that were, let's say, in their early 20s, well, that would be a bit of a stretch for a chunk of them. While not impossible, and I can certainly find them, the age is not uh, really helping me. The USA man who is 60 is now uh, older than both of us. So he gets a minus one for being an older man, right? Doesn't help him. The weight. The Colombian man is uh, in, in, de in decent shape, especially younger uh, men. So he's zero. He's not particularly buff or an athlete in any way. He's at a zero. Same thing with Saiyan Chan. I'm slim. I'm skinny. I'm not buff. Nothing impressive about my weight or height. I'm at a zero. Okay. USA man is at a minus one in that he's still overweight after having lost a significant amount of weight. And while I soon expect him to be at a zero, he's not there yet, and he's at a negative one. So I tallied up all these scores, and what kind, what, um, what, what kind of totals do I get? Well, the average Colombian man is at a three. Saiyan Chan is at a 4.75. And can I get significantly better results than most average Colombian men in the country? Yes, I can, because... I even have potentially access to like the eights and the nines and uh, could, could afford that kind of a lifestyle that those types of women are, who they themselves have options are, are looking for, okay? Um, 
you know, high level, high level dancing, uh, high level social skills, uh, relatively high, high earnings, nothing really working against me. So I'm significantly higher than the, than the average. Okay. USA man, the, the sum total, uh, he also gets a three, which is, uh, functionally equal to that of the Colombian man. And what I said to the client was that, uh, who believed he who was concerned that it was a bit fantastical or unrealistic that he could get with a, a younger woman that, uh, that, that was pretty and very in shape. It was that, uh, in general, the Colombian men are not complaining about the quality of women they can get in Colombia. At minimum, none of them are lonely and no one has trouble getting at least some companionship and some of their emotional and physical intimacy needs met in this dating marketplace, which is very different, which has three to four times the amount of available fit women compared to what you will find in the United States of America. Okay. So I said to this client, sir, at, at worst, you will get the results of an average Colombian man, which is being okay in the dating department. And for sure, by moving to a place with a um, lower cost of living, he would, his finances and his financial stress would go way down. His health and mental health could go way up, way up and, his, uh, and he still has room to improve. So even if he showed up today as he is, he only made one brief trip to Colombia. I said that to this man that yes, despite your age, you will do just fine. Okay. Uh, but now this doesn't take into consideration uh, improvement. Okay, for any of these men, which is the next part of this uh, tr uh, this analysis, which I have up on this screen, and I'll I'll make this uh, quick. Right. Um, so when it comes to height, the uh, so now to the right of each one of these columns, sorry, uh, I added the super Saiyan version of each one of these men, the average Colombian man, Saiyan Chan, USA man, number one. So now that they're super Saiyans, okay, <laughs> your Asian godfather has ascended and is now a super Saiyan too in this exercise, right? So let's say that we we all decided to go on self-improvement and decided to improve ourselves. What is the theoretical cap that, that this guy, that each of these men could, could get to, right? Height, none of us are improving. The scores are just staying the same um, all across the board. The earnings, well, the average Colombian man could improve a little bit and could get himself to a 0 0.5 from a zero. But Saiyan Chan and USA man, number one, even if we somehow doubled our earnings, functionally, it doesn't even matter. We're still going to be living in Estrato 5, which is the, um, which is the, uh, uh, low, I'm sorry, the lower upper class, not the highest of the high, which is Estrato 6, but we're for sure in Estrato 5. That isn't going to change. And if we do jump up to Estrato 6, because it's just a marginal cost, uh, increase, it's still not going to change our lives or the lives of the women we're with materially. So it, it doesn't really matter. The, the average is already way above average, right? Social skills. The average Colombian man could potential impro potentially improve it uh, a little bit, taking communication courses and maybe traveling a little bit to get a more, um, you know, di diverse international communication skill set. But for the most part, they're well socialized, well adjusted, and it isn't going to improve much. For for me, it's probably not going to get much better. I'm already about as good and socially tuned as I could possibly be. USA man number one, who has been a bit of a recluse and shut in for a little while, for sure there's some improvement. And while he may not have the lifetime practiced good social skills, like that of an average Colombian man, he could make some improvement and jump from a 0.5 to a 0.75. Spanish ability, the, the Super Saiyan Colombian man isn't going to improve. Saiyan Chan, for sure, he can improve from a 0.5 to a 0.75 and get himself to just below the level of a native speaker. USA man has plenty of room for growth 
and can go from a zero to a 0.5 with about a year of Spanish classes and living in Colombia. Cultural connection. The Colombian man isn't getting any, any gay isn't getting any better. Say in Chan, if he were to go back to living there full time and spend a couple of years there, could it get to a one? Yeah, it could. A uh, USA man could easily jump from a zero to a 0 0.5 as he goes there, starts spending time and living there and, um, and learning about the culture there. Exoticness, average Colombian man, maybe if he get, get, gets his style up right and learns another language, he might get a slight boost, but he just becomes a just a little bit more interesting Colombian man. Saiyan Chan also can't get any more exotic than he is already. Uh, Latin dancing, Spanish speaking, uh, high earning, international traveling, uh, <laughs> uh, Asian man. It, it doesn't get any more exotic. USA man, number one, he's already decently exotic and probably won't change much already. Okay, so being conservative, that's not going to change. Reputation, well, this Colombian man, if he proves himself with, with character and in his social circles and, um, and, and he's proven to be reliable and, and faithful, a lot of women want that, his reputation could improve a little bit, but he's still held back because overall, a lot of the American, uh, a lot of the Colombian men are messing it up for, um, for, for types like these. Saiyan Chan, his reputation might improve a little bit, but he's always going to be a bit exotic, a bit strange. And uh, he, a bit of an unknown factor because there are so few Asians that show up there. So call it a little bit of an improvement. The USA man, number one, the, the improvement is probably not going to improve. It, it can only go down, so let's keep it at a one. The age. The age isn't going to change, right? Uh, weight, the average Colombian man can, let's say that if, if he decides to go to the gym and buff up and start to look really, really good, um, and, and up his style, uh, along with that, he could get himself to a one, it being in very, very good shape. Saiyan Chan also has that opportunity because he's a skinny guy with plenty of room to put on muscle, and he could get to a one, two. The USA man, if he continues to lose weight, he still has a substantial amount to go, but he's going to get there for sure. He can go from a negative one to a zero. So now let's, let's tally it up, right? So the Super Saiyan Colombian man is at a 5.5 and Saiyan Chan is at a 6.5 and the, the, the 60 year old client by working on himself a lot is at a 5.25. In, in, in all three of our cases, the above average Super Saiyan versions of ourselves are significantly higher than the Colombian average, which is, is a three. And as a result, can we expect to get commensurately better results than the average Colombian man? Uh, uh, you know, th despite me not being tall, uh, for my example, and despite that 60-year-old man not being young, absolutely you can. So folks, I hope this video has been interesting, and I hope that you are able to use it as a tool to objectively rate yourself to determine how well you might do in Colombia or in any other country once you've come to understand what the norms are for that country, all right? And if any of you need help with organizing a trip or with organizing your life, email Chan at protonmail.com uh, for some Chan life coaching and consulting, or if you need me to help you go through this exercise for yourself and to also set targets for your life if you're hoping to improve and get commensurately better uh, outcomes in the dating market or with uh, personal finance as, as two e examples. Uh, if you want to support my work and what I do as I support other men, check out Subscribestar and consider signing up for a uh, paid uh, subscription tier at the $10 or $20 level, guys at the $10 tier get access to my safety course that I'm developing and also unique content, priority response to comments and video responses uh, when I can, access to private uh, taxi drivers in the city of Cali, Colombia. The folks on the $20 tier get the highest, res uh, highest responses, 
pri- ultra priority video responses when when appropriate. Uh, they get all the benefits of the the first tier, the ten dollar tier, and also get ten percent off on their stays to the luxury properties in Cali, Colombia, listed in the link below. I also get they also get early uh, sneak peeks to interviews with feminine, beautiful, inspirational Colombian women that are released before they go on general release for YouTube. And thank you for all my supporters on YouTube and Subscribestar. Everyone else, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is Saiyan Chan signing off, reminding us all to always cogitate and analyze.